Sasha here from the Little Lawyer Tree and the LittleLawyerTree.com, owner and creator. Welcome back. We are in the kitchen today and I'm going to show you how to make a puppuccino. Not just any puppuccino, but a healthy puppuccino. So uh, a cappuccino is typically two shots of espresso with steamed milk. And obviously you can't give coffee to your dogs. A lot of people will make a puppuccino using either carob, but usually whipped cream. And uh, whipped cream is a dairy product, obviously. The, the better the whipped cream or the homemade whipped cream that you give your dog um, is a little bit healthier than like the whipped stuff you might buy at the store that's ready to go but it's not very good for your dog's arteries. So it's a heavy cream, it is uh, full of fat, and it's just, it's not something you're gonna wanna give your dog on a regular basis. If you do it once in a while, you know, I guess, you know, everything in moderation is what they say, but it's still not something that's healthy for your dog. So today I'm gonna show you how to do a healthy puppuccino. So what you're gonna need, what I'm using today, is literally coconut milk and uh, flavor, unflavored or unsweetened coconut is milk is what you're gonna want. I've got it warming on the stove over here. I've put it on low for about 20 minutes, so it's nice and warm, but not too hot. I am also using a digestive enzyme. Now, I am out of my actual container, so I just had a small amount left that I put into a baggie, but I will put a link down below so you can see what it is. It's by The Honest Company. It is a digestive enzyme. It's basically like a boost or a, or a vitamin for your dog and uh, it tastes great and they love it. And the bonus is you can give it to your dog or your cat. So your cat can also enjoy a fabulous uh, fur baby puppuccino or cappuccino if you'd like uh, in the morning while you're enjoying your morning breakfast uh, and cappuccino. So today I'm gonna show you, what we have tools wise, we've got what you'll need is a basic um, you know, glass that you can actually whip your, your milk in, uh, your coconut milk, and uh, able to pour. Uh, you'll want literally a tablespoon. I am using one quarter teaspoon. You'll want your whisk, and you'll want a cute little cup. So let me show you <clears throat> how we do this. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So we have our steaming coconut milk. So that's the coconut milk, it's right there. It's been on low for about 20 minutes, so the candle's a little bit hot, but what we're gonna do is we're literally gonna take that coconut milk and pour it into your measuring cup. Now I've, done, I've done roughly about a, about a cup of coconut milk. I'm gonna be giving this to about uh, five dogs. So there it is, it's nice and hot. And then you're going to take your digestive enzyme. This is the digestive enzyme. It's by The Honest Kitchen. You're gonna put one quarter, one quarter teaspoon into the actual mix, just like so. Then you are going to take your bone broth. This is, now this is bone broth. You can get this at supplement stores, vitamin stores, any health store. I buy mine in these smaller packets, not the massive jugs. Um, I buy these from my local PCC. You can also get them online. If they come like this, they're only a couple dollars each. You can also buy the massive jug, which is kind of expensive. I don't use them uh, in the massive jug. I just get them for um, either a soup for our family or for, um, for treats like this for our dogs and our cat. <laughs> She'll be enjoying some today. And again, so I am doing, now you're going to do about a quarter tablespoon of the digestive enzyme, enzyme for every 10 pound, uh, 10 pounds of your, of your, of your fur baby. So, um, I'm working with mostly, uh, all the guests that I'm going to be giving this to and my girls are 10 pounds or less. So I'm going to be doing just one quarter. I'll be mixing it up and then I will be just pouring it into a cup. And so they're not going to get the full amount of this. They're just going to get basically about, um, that two shots roughly is how much this is. So it's probably, it's less than, um, less than probably, it's probably about four ounces total is what they'll be getting. And so I'm gonna also take my, my actual um, measuring, uh, my measuring spoon here and do another quarter teaspoon of the bone broth and add that in there. And then what you'll wanna do is just literally taste your whisk you're gonna whisk it up. Now, if you do use natural milk or you are gonna use using a heavy cream, 
it will uh, fluff or froth for you. Now, because I'm using coconut milk, which I believe is healthier for dogs, um, it has an antibacterial, anti-inflammatory to it, so especially if your dog is having any digestive problems or your dog is having any um, diarrhea, it will help aid in that. Um, the digestive enzyme is absolutely designed to help aid in digestive issues with your dog or any kind of vomiting or diarrhea, plus having this, the supplemental um, vitamins for your pup as well. And there we go. So I always like to check it so it's not too hot. And then we're going to literally just pour them into the cups here. So I'm doing roughly about four ounces each. And that is your puppuccino. <laughs> Again, you can also give this to your cat. So if you have a cat that enjoys a little bit of a treat or is always trying to go for your drink, you can make this in the morning. It takes roughly 10 minutes, so it's not long. So while you're making food, you can just heat up the coconut milk and then just go from there. I literally put about one cup of coconut milk into a saucepan, put it on low and just let it kind of warm. Okay, and then literally just add the one quarter teaspoon of the digestive enzyme and one quarter teaspoon of the bone broth and you've got, it actually smells really good. <laughs> you've got this wonderful puppuccino that your pup can lap up and enjoy while you are enjoying your cappuccino. Now, this is not meant to be a food replacement or a water replacement. Always keep you know fresh, uh, clean water available for your pups or in your pets. This is a supplement, basically, or an addition or a treat, so always still make sure your dog is still getting uh, plenty of food and water, so this is not to replace food and water, but it is a wonderful treat that your pup will enjoy, and really thank you and appreciate you for it. So if you have any questions, uh, definitely uh, like and comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, also check out our private Facebook group called I Speak Dog Training Club. And uh, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to ask. If you make one of these for your dog, I would love to see a picture of it. You can put it on the Facebook page. You can put it in the comments below. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you. Have a wonderful day and enjoy your puppuccino. Bye-bye. <laughs>